How are you doing everybody? My name is Ever McGill and I am here to play video games. Let me tell you folks, I have had a busy couple of weeks, which goes uh, part of the way to explaining why it's been so long since I've been able to get a video out to you guys. Uh, I, as you guys know if you watched my previous videos, uh, just moved into a new house and it was a, it was a bit of an ordeal getting uh, all of my worldly possessions packed up and moved and over here to the new place and maybe we'll do some dark oak stairs down here and uh yeah and just i'm in the process of getting it all unpacked at this point and that's a whole another ordeal and then i was even without internet for a while so posting a video was a uh, pretty much impossible i suppose i could have recorded some of my single player world but you know with everything going on i just didn't even manage to get around to doing that uh and it's been you know it's been a harrowing experience but it has been fun i'm glad i am near the end here and just uh, able to start finishing up uh you know getting these last few things unpacked and getting all these boxes out of my room getting things settled into my new room and but yeah we're, we're at the uh, tail end here, we're getting things cleared up, and it's been, it's been a thing, folks. It has been a thing. But you know what, we're here, we're back, we're recording now, and I'm hoping you guys are all still with me. You're all still interested in the, uh, what we got going on here in our single player world. You're all still interested in seeing me build my spawn home, and things of that nature. Maybe we want to go with a slab floor up here. Uh, and yeah, I'm just sort of getting a uh, top floor established, seeing what we have to work with. I think coming over to this area, we might even want to start raising this up and above. Sort of the, uh, do I have oak logs? I do not have oak logs. Getting these sort of raised up and above on that secondary area of the house over there. Create sort of a multi-level situation. Or I don't want straight floors across the entire top of the building is what I'm getting at. So I think maybe if we just sort of bring these. Do I want to bring these posts up? I think maybe I want to bring them up one more. And then we can have sort of a secondary staring up situation over here. So we will essentially be creating one, two, three levels here. And then two levels for the larger section here. I think if we just set this guy here, we can sort of get an idea what I'm. Oh, all the things I'm building incorrectly. We get sort of an idea of what I'm talking about here. We definitely hear a zombie on fire somewhere. Oh, and it looks like we are losing daylight. Pretty funny that zombie just burned up as we are actually losing the daylight. All right, guys, we are back. I'm just chucking in a few window panes here. I got most of my floor idea laid in up inside. Let me show you that real quick after I make myself up some more uh, oak wood planks because I'm running a little bit low on those. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but we'll see what we can get done with it. So up here, we just sort of created a natural divide of a three room, three layer section here. And you can see I sort of began the two layer here so now you guys have sort of an idea of what I was rambling on about in the last clip and I'm not sure if I necessarily want to take this all the way forward but I want to bring it a little farther forward than it is now so yeah I'm thinking maybe these uh, 19 oak planks maybe aren't gonna oak uh, slabs aren't gonna cut it uh, but we'll see we will give it a look see see how it's looking for us I wonder if I have more slabs up here so grab a little snooze while I'm here. So we're just going to get these, uh, this ceiling floor divider section thing laid in. And we're going to see how it looks. And uh, I want you guys to let me know uh, what you're thinking of the build so far. How you think it's coming along. What you think I could change or improve. Now, do keep in mind I haven't thrown in much uh, decoration yet. I haven't put in much uh, interest in the walls yet, but that is something I intend to do. I'm starting getting some nice flat, normal looking walls established, and then maybe we can see what we can do with it uh, as far as decoration and making it look pretty. 
this light in here and see what kind of ideas we are working with. I don't know. Maybe I hate that. Maybe I hate how I'm going to bonk my head on that. All right, let's see what we got. It's not a bad look. Maybe I do want to bring it forward one more. I like the idea of maybe leaving the, a little bit of this front section open, but maybe I will close it off entirely, just not yet. I'm going to decide first. I'm going to make that decision first before I actually execute. Alright, I'm liking the space we have to work with. I'm thinking perhaps this upper section here will be the bedroom. Maybe the... Do, 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 do. Maybe up over here, just some decoration pieces. Maybe throw down some more of my wood trapdoor divider fence. Oh, but not at all like that. Come on, get, get back to me. Come here, come here again. Okay, alright, we got this. All right, beautiful. So get this divider fence laid up here. And see how that goes. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to keep talking to you a little bit about uh, my move and how all that went and what's been going on in my life. Staying busy at work and all those sorts of things. But yeah, I, I didn't move that far. I really did not. It's just up the road from where I was before. Um, it adds about five minutes to my work commute, but most of that has to do with the fact that um, I now end up getting on the freeway rather than taking side streets up. So what was a uh, you know roughly 10 minute commute before, I do not know where I put any of my coal, I guess I'm going to steal some out of my furnaces. But yeah, so what was roughly a 10 minute commute via side streets? Is now a 15 commute minute commute via freeways so it is it is farther than simply being five minutes more away but being that the freeway is a better option for actually getting to work the commute time not much oh and now i find out michael perfect we're doing great we're doing a great job today guys I'm gonna get a little bit of light in here avoid spawns for the meantime this is not going to be our permanent lighting solution, but it is a lighting solution for now. And I think maybe I want to cut in some more windows. I'm going to get going on that, feel out that situation, and I will be back with you guys again in just another moment. Alrighty, we got some windows established over on pretty much every side of the building this time. We got a little peak window here underneath the stairwell, a larger window to the living area, a messed up window back here, a little bit of a... Uh, a larger almost bay style window on the back in addition to the long window that I ran in over here I threw a similar one over here I don't know if I want to bring it over one more or not I haven't decided I'm gonna keep looking at it from both sides to see what I want to do I'm probably not going to just because the way it's gonna line up inside I wanted to break off away from the pillar rather than being on top of it or near it, I suppose, next to it. Sort of winging this at this point, but maybe a nice shallow roof line will suffice. And with proper scaffolding block techniques, I think we'll be able to achieve that. Run a couple more of these over. That is exactly what I did not want to do. That was a perfect example of a mistake. If you guys are looking for tips on how to make more mistakes in Minecraft, please like and subscribe, and you will get all the tricks of the trade from the top mistake ma maker of Minecraft, Mr. Everett McGill himself. And we did it once again. When talking about my mistake, I made an identical mistake to the mistake I just made. Doubling up my mistakes, doubling up my embarrassment for all the, of my YouTube viewers. Beautiful. Let's run around to the other side. I don't want to go too high and miss my middle point. It's kind of hard to judge, but if I do it this way, I won't need to judge. The judgment will be found in my own lack of confusion in how to actually build a roof. Did that make sense? It did not. It was barely English. So we're going to run up a few more scaffolding blocks here and see exactly where these meet up in the middle. Start a little on one side, bring it back over from the other side, so that way I completely avoid having to do any math whatsoever. 
which is usually my goal in most er arenas and areas of life, is just to avoid math as much as humanly possible. Not that math was my worst subject in school, but it was definitely by far my least favorite. Do any of you like math out there? Do any of my five followers, are you fans of math? If you are fans of math, uh, you can go ahead and hit that unsubscribe button. I'm joking. I need I need all five of you. Please don't. Please don't leave my channel. Uh, that is not a bad line. We can. I don't have a shovel with me, so I'm just going to keep digging out these dirt blocks with uh, with stone bricks because it's not the tool for the job, but it's the tool that's in my hand. I don't hate this roof line. Don't hate it at all. It does make it quite shallow. Thinking maybe I might want to increase the gradient a little bit, but maybe not. I may just be overthinking things. I may be causing more trouble for myself. We're going to work with it. We're going to see what it does. We're going to probably get very upset about how it turns out and tear the whole thing down. But in the meantime, what we can do is pretend like we like it. That is my number one recommended tactic for the day is build something and pretend like you like it for a while. That way, when you finally get frustrated enough to tear the whole thing down, your anger seems completely out of left field, and you scare your friends and family. It's not awful. It's symmetrical, so that's a thing. Yeah, we're going to work with that for now. I think I want to draw another roof line across here. I'm thinking the one going this way may come up a bit higher. I mean, it definitely will come up higher if I follow the same gradient law. But the question is, do I want it to... I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm going to try to keep it at the same level. See what I can work out. And I will be right back with you once I have something hashed out. Alrighty, folks. We got something lined up here. I did add an additional half slab on top of this one that you had already seen me complete. Just to bring it up a small level more. So that I could add these bits in the middle here. I can create it a bit of a straight bar. I didn't like the way it was looking. But I can create a little more of a stair step just by bringing it up that half block and has the added benefit of discouraging a few spawns from the roof. I mean, there's still plenty of spawnable points up here, but hey, there's three less. Three less plus two less. That's five less, if my math serves me. And again, we find ourselves talking about math in the least mathy channel on YouTube. But this is the general roof line, and I think I'm going to start drawing these outwards towards each other just to see how we can get them to start uh, aligning up to see what kind of lines we create just by following the established stairs that I've already placed draw them together into sort of a into anything but the shape I just created there draw them together to see how I can get them to connect in a V if I connect all of these along with these, we will start to see a little bit of a roof shape. Hopefully, no promises. I'm pretty new at this, guys. So, anyways, I'm going to start following those up. I don't know if I want to draw those out with the full blocks, or if I want to draw them out with the slab blocks, but I have an abundance of full blocks, so we're just going to go ahead and go with those. It would probably look a little better from underneath that way, I think. Maybe. Again, no promises. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm making this up as I go along. Fumbling through my words as I make it up, as I go through it, as I go along. But, this is nothing new to you guys. If you watched my previous videos, you know exactly that I was going to place that incorrectly, that, that I was going to have to re-break it and replace it again. Boom, boom. Boom, da boom. There's another boom. Click that one in. Bring this over. Looks like I need to run some more full blocks because, you know, didn't pay attention when I did it the first time. Creating more work for myself than necessary. Should probably eat some bread out of my hot bar at some point. But you know what? I'm going to push my limits. I'm going to see how far I can take this. I'm going to keep getting hungry till I take damage. Because I am focused on this roof. And I'm committing to building it for you guys. I am just that kind of friend. What kind of friend do you have in your life? The kind of man who will commit to building a Minecraft roof. Even if his Minecraft character gets hungry to the point of death. I see a zombie has spawned down there. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? He's gone. He no longer loves me. He did at a point in time as he was eyeballing me from afar. But he felt that his affections were going unnoticed. And so he retreated back from whence he came to hang out with the other imps and demons who live amongst the forest surrounding my spawn home. 
he will be missed. But my aim's getting better. So I'm going to keep drawing these out, folks. I think I'm going to see how much I can draw it around before it starts looking insanely weird. And once I have a line I'm happy with, I think I will come back to you guys. Alrighty, once again, guys, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, and I don't have a pillar for which to draw up the roof line from for this corner, this corner, or even this corner is kind of odd as far as drawing a roof line away from it. But if I could bring it up two more blocks to line up with this roof level here, I'm thinking maybe we can get something to work with. I just don't. I don't know if I wanted to continue the log or maybe put these stone bricks on because I don't know the stone bricks really look right just perched on top and if I guess I could try to make it look like some kind of intentional architectural feature of some kind perhaps I throw some stairs on here like some sort of wing I, I, I don't know what I'm doing I'm making this up as I go along once again and so we are you're right here with me on the journey. You're here watching me make terrible architectural ideas. You're watching me make scaffolding out of dirt, potentially falling to a pit of zombies that will surely be forming beneath me at the nighttime. But as I've grown more reckless as this video has gone on, I don't know that I necessarily uh, care. I don't fear them anymore. They have no power over me. I don't think I need to draw a stair over that way, being that it doesn't hang over anything, and in fact it'll probably just interfere with the roof line. But if I do that, does that look like a cap for this log? Does it, I mean, and if it does look like a cap, does it look like a cap should be there? Uh, I mean, we can try it. We can do it here, we can do it there, and we can, we can try, we can see. Oh, I just did exactly what I said I wouldn't do on the other side. Walked over here, did it at a place that had no overhang, did it at a place that made zero sense to have it, did it anyways. Gave you several reasons why it was a bad idea to put a stone step towards the inside of the roof line. Gave you a lot of reasons why that would, that would make no sense and would not work ultimately with the design, as that area will have to be filled in with another block. And then I, uh, I just went ahead and did it on the next pillar over. We're having a good time today, guys. I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm not upset. I'm doing everything just as I intend to do it. Every mistake I make is just part of the journey, and you're on the journey with me. Breathe, breathe. Biscuits ain't for jam. Okay, so we drove, drew, drove, drove, draw those up to begin, I think, the peaks for this roof line, and this roof line, and then we will think about drawing both of those towards the middle. Let me get those drawn out right quick, see though. Hey there, mister. How'd you find your way up here? How's the evening treating you? You doing all right? You doing good, bud? Come here, come here. Oh, you wanna go? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's right, you leave me your zombie flesh. Listen, guys, I'm not, I'm not loving this roof line. I'm not. I, I haven't seen it all together, but so far, what I do see of it looks, looks awful. I'm going to commit, though, is what I'm going to do. I've established some roof lines here. I'm going to commit. I'm going to finish out this whole roof following the pattern established by these arches that I have added in. I'm going to draw a straight column down here. And we're going to see how it looks as a complete project. We're going to see that it looks awful, but we will see it. And that's the important part. Sometimes you just fly a little too close to the sun. Whew. I don't even, I don't even know what kind of damage just occurred, y'all. Start by, hello, Mr. Ender Dude. How are you Ender doing today? All right, well, that took out my window, part of my staircase. Boop. Yeah, well, I mean, damage was done. Alrighty, y'all, I think I'm going to take this gaping hole as a sign that maybe I should uh, shut it down for the day and go eat some dinner. This is not a rage quit, I promise. It is actually dinner time. But we will finish up our roof. We will throw in some maybe different arches. 
or see if we can make the archers that we have work on our next episode. And I will see you then. Have a good day, guys.